morning everyone and welcome back to my channel or I should be saying good afternoon because it is 2 p.m. now. For me, it still feels like morning. So I thought it would be fun to start a series focusing on my gym progress. Ideally, it would have been great to start this series back when I actually first started lifting, which was actually about three years ago. For those who aren't familiar with my fitness and diet content here, I had ended a cut uh, just a few months ago and I am currently slow bulking and I've actually already gained 10 pounds which is um, a lot uh, considering I ended the cut back in August. So I do have a Patreon and I currently have a Snapchat tier um, exclusively for patrons who uh, want to see more like behind the scenes stuff of my life and a big big part of my life is going to the gym and I do film a lot of my exercises um, and workouts there so they actually get to see this progress firsthand right away but um, I thought it would be cool to kind of compile all of that footage and give a little bit more of a play-by-play -play of my gym life um, what I eat and just like my overall thoughts of how I'm feeling um, during my cutting and bulking so I just finished um, doing some YouTube content in my living room actually and that video is going to be like fashion and styling related um, and then I finished up on some editing just now for my first meal I actually uber eats some food uh, just because I had a ton of things to do in the morning I'm incredibly tired I do want another cup of coffee but because I'm going to the gym today I don't want to be too dehydrated I've had experiences where I drink too much coffee and then I would pass out at the gym not actually pass out, but like almost pass out. And honestly, that's just one of the worst feelings ever. So speaking of that, I'm actually gonna drink some water right now. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, as I was saying, I uber eats some food. I had three poached eggs, some toast, grilled chicken, and home fries. And it was very tasty, but incredibly filling. I'm very full right now. I'm actually going to start getting ready to the gym very soon. Um, I will take you guys with me um, from this point on for my first gym day of the week. And it is currently Sunday, and on Sundays, my workout consists of paused hip thrusts, cable glute leg swings, arm supported leg raises, and the leg curl machine. So altogether, that's four exercises. This routine is a little different from what I had initially shared on my YouTube. Instead of two, I'm doing three, and today's workout is actually the third one of the week. So two hours later. Okay, so after loafing around for like two hours, I'm going to finally start getting ready to the gym. Also, I'm really sorry for the horrible echo in this room. There's absolutely nothing in this room except for a mirror, um, which is on purpose. And it was for content purposes, mainly for my Instagram. But anyways, that's besides the point. I'm also just gonna turn down the heater just cause it's really hot in this room. <laughs> One sec. Okay, so for today's gym fit, by the way guys, I wear the same combination of gym fits every workout. So this is gonna get a little old for you guys. I might get some new gym fits eventually, but these are just like my go-tos. Um, this is actually new. Um, so this is like a recent gym short that I've decided to add in my little rotation. It's these Nike track shorts. Um, and I love that you can adjust it and it's like hidden. And then we're just gonna wear this basic long sleeve shirt. So this shirt's actually like five years old, I'm not even kidding. Um, but it's super comfortable and um, I only really wear it uh, to the gym or if I'm on the go and just need something super basic and comfortable to wear. Um, this is from H&M, but I've recently bought some new gym shirts from Aritzia that I will eventually show you guys as I start filming more of these. But yeah, for today's gym fit, we're gonna go with this and these gym shorts. So let's get started. If you guys initially found me on Instagram, I just wanted to say rest in peace ab veins. <laughs> I used to have them when I was shredded. I do miss them, but I know losing the ab veins was for the best, um, especially if I'm trying to grow these. Okay, 
so almost done. Um, I'm actually going to uh, put my hair up, but I need a scrunchie or some kind of hair tie first, so I'll be right back. So I either tie my hair up for the gym, but I also put it in pigtails sometimes, depending on my mood, I guess. The most important thing is just getting all of my hair out of my face. So today I feel like putting it in a ponytail. So we will do that. Since it's pretty much winter already in Toronto, I'm going to throw on these sweatpants over uh, my shorts. But obviously when I arrive in the gym, I'm going to be taking these off. But this is just for the trip. And these sweatpants are obviously from none other than Aritzia. So I finally arrived to the gym and of course the first thing I do is take a mirror selfie. So we're going to start off this workout with one of the hardest exercises so far and that is the 3 second pause hip thrusts. This is by far my strongest exercise in terms of technique. There's always still room for improvement but I think I've come a long way in comparison to when I first started out. This time three years ago, I was still doing a similar amount of weight, but I had a really hard time with pausing for more than a second. So the fact that I've reached the point where I can finally do it for two to three seconds is mind blowing to me, especially at this weight. I've managed to continuously increase reps and weight thus far. So I'm wondering when I will actually hit my limit. Um, it would be really great if I can keep going, but realistically at some point I am going to reach my peak. So it's great that you guys can follow along and find out with me. Next up, I'm doing cable glute leg swings and this one is also paused. So I actually swapped this workout in not that long ago in my previous workout routine uploaded on YouTube. I believe I was doing either the leg press machine or the glute kickback machine. And I switched this in because I've been personally feeling it more in the glute and hamstring area in comparison to the other exercises. And it's been a few months already of doing this exercise consistently. And I have been liking it so far, but as you can see, I'm still learning and improving my technique on this. I remember when I first started this exercise, I was struggling a lot with my balance, um, but now I think I've gotten slightly better at it and I have been slowly increasing weight. In this exercise, I'm doing three sets for 30 pounds each leg and doing 11 reps. Um, I'm not a fan of single leg movements just because they're just more difficult to do and they take way longer to do as well. Like I find that my workouts with the single leg movements have doubled in time just because I'm spending time on each leg, but I do think it'll be worth it in terms of results. So my goal for this exercise is just to get better at increasing the pauses. I'm supposed to be doing three seconds, but um, in some of these reps, it's more like two seconds or so I need to get better at that. But yeah, it'll come with time. On to the third exercise, which is the arm supported leg raises. And I am doing this with a five pound dumbbell with just two sets, 16 to 17 reps each. So I'm doing 16 reps for the first set and then 17 for the next. I do get a lot of questions asking if I do anything significant for abs. Um, and honestly, this is the only ab exercise I do. And I do this exercise two times a week and the rest are all just glutes and hamstring focused. 
Now I'm going to finish the workout with the lying leg curl machine. So far, I think my hamstrings are probably one of the most developed areas of my body, which is great. Ideally, I would have loved my glutes to grow significantly more, but I guess that's just genetics for you. Um, for this exercise, I am doing 65 pounds. For the first set, I'm doing 10 reps, and then the second, I'm doing 11. And that concludes Sunday's workout. Now I am just getting ready to leave the gym and making sure my hair still looks decent. And then I went for a quick grocery run and it was just to get some more fruit. And then this is what I got for dinner. These are some charcoal kebabs with some rice and salad. This has become one of my favorite platters ever. So fast forward to Tuesday. Here I am just doing my hair. So today I just felt like putting them in braided pigtails. So for my first meal, I actually had a peanut butter protein bar and I only managed to record the wrapper because I forgot to start filming from the beginning. I ate this really sad looking burnt um, wrap, I guess you would call it. So it's pretty much just chicken breast slices and cheese. I was incredibly busy in the morning and it only took me like a minute to make. I decided to wear this super comfortable black crop top and then I decided to wear basic black sweatpants from Champion. And it's been one of my go-to sweatpants for workouts. All right. So I'm finally at the gym. As always, we're starting off with the hardest exercise, pause glute bridges. And I was pretty proud of myself because I finally did a weight jump to 310 pounds. And it's a small weight jump. It's from 305 to 310, but any weight increase is worth celebrating for. So I'm doing 310 pounds, three sets and nine reps each. Next up is the hip abductor machine. So if you want to build that booty shelf, this is the machine for you. I have developed quite the shelf already just by using this machine. For me personally, I find leaning forward like this really helps with feeling the stretch more and it helps me widen my legs a lot more as opposed to just sitting upward. So like you can see here that I'm really able to open them up um, and feel that stretch. And that wide stretch is really going to help with building that booty shelf. So this is another movement that I recently swapped in. For the longest time, I've been doing barbell RDLs. I used to do about 135 to 140 pounds. Although I have made a lot of improvements with that exercise, I still felt like I wasn't really feeling it um, in the glute and hamstring area. And then I went on vacation to the Dominican Republic and there they had a gym, but it was very limited. They didn't have any barbells or anything. So I had no choice but to use their dumbbells. I started doing doing single leg RDL movements at that gym. And then I realized I felt it way more in the hamstring and glute area. That's when I decided to completely scrap out the barbell RDLs and include this one. So here I am doing 35 pounds on each hand. I do think I can do more because this is technically a brand new exercise. So I just want to ease myself in and get adjusted. I'm doing three sets with nine reps each. And you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I'm ending off this workout with paused hip thrusts. Yes, you heard me correctly. Um, this is the same exercise that I normally do on Sundays, but instead of doing four sets, I'm just doing two just because I have completely exhausted my glutes at this point. So I'm not doing a full four sets here, but I am doing the same amount of weight, the deadly 300 pound weight. Um, and the two sets are going to be eight to nine reps. So for the first set, I'm doing eight. And for the second one, I push myself to do nine reps. And then I'm ending off this workout with some cardio. I typically do like a seven to eight incline and have the speed set to two. And then I end off with some stretches as well. For dinner, this meal is also one of my favorites. It's a chicken shawarma platter. The rice has some lentils in it. And I am a huge fan of diet ginger ale. And it also comes with this flatbread, which I typically dip in the hummus. So fast forward to the next gym day, which is Thursday for lunch. This is just an egg sandwich with some cold cuts. For Thursday Gym Fit, I'm going for these black low-waisted leggings. And don't mind me just quickly glancing at my ass to see if I can see any gains. And this white t-shirt has become one of my favorites for the gym. They're super comfortable and they feel really light, uh, which is why I love wearing them. And I have it also in black. Today, we're gonna go for a ponytail look. And I'm just quickly charging my headphones here before I head out. 
So here I'm arriving at the gym. I love the lighting here, so I couldn't help but take some selfies. Okay, so this is actually my least favorite workout of the week. And the reason is because, as mentioned earlier, I absolutely hate doing single leg movements just because it takes longer and it honestly feels way more difficult to do. But I know it has to be done for the sake of symmetry and balance. To start off, I'm doing three second paused single leg hip thrusts and I'm doing 145 pounds, four sets, nine to 10 reps. The first three sets I'm doing nine and the last one I'm doing 10 reps. And this is definitely one of the exercises that I have to improve on, especially with the pausing. Like I am pausing here, but I do want to pause um, a lot longer than that. And I've noticed my balance has gotten better, but again, that could be improved as well. And this is the second single leg movement of the workout, which is the cable glute leg swings. And this is the exact same exercise as Sunday's workout, but instead I am doing an extra set. And since this is a different gym, I noticed that even though it's the same cable machine as a previous gym, this one seems to feel less lubricated, I guess. I feel like it's way harder to lift the weights um, in comparison to the other gym. And that's probably why I have been having a hard time pausing, but yeah, I'm trying my best. Um, hopefully with time, I can improve on this technique. The difficulty of this workout just never ends. For the third exercise, I'm doing paused 45 degree hyperextensions and I'm doing it with 25 pounds. I know this is mainly used for the back, but I am actually doing the movement in a way where I feel it more in my hamstring and glute area. So whenever I'm bending down like that, that's where I actually feel the stretch in my hamstrings and glutes. And once I feel that stretch, I try to pause for as long as I can. And this exercise is very tiring, um, especially after doing those single leg movements, but you do what you gotta do. So we're finally ending the workout with an easier exercise, which is the arm supported leg raises. So this is a second ab workout I do for the week. And just like Sunday's workout, I'm doing two sets with five pounds and 16 to 17 reps each. And I would love to increase the weight at some point to maybe like 10 pounds, but I can still get away with doing more reps in the meantime. And even though I was in a rush this day, I still try to squeeze in some cardio. And before I leave, I did a little games check in the washroom. And for dinner, I decided to pick up some Popeyes. And this is the five piece chicken tender combo. And it comes with Cajun fries and a biscuit. Super tasty, obviously not the healthiest, but I did have the calories that day and I was just craving it. And that concludes the first episode of my Gym Girl Diary series. If you guys enjoyed this kind of content, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe for future vlogs. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, suggestions, or if you have another series in mind that you'd like me to do. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog.